yourself out there in such a very vulnerable way. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. So why do it? Um, because I'm not alone and my story isn't special. A story of sexual assault, harassment and discrimination. Serious allegations against an entire culture at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard in Bremerton. I was most shocked by this. Brandon Hunt is speaking publicly for the first time. I was pinned up against my desk and kissed by uh, another coworker. It's not her only allegation, not the only man. He waited until everybody was gone and grabbed me and smelled me and told me that I was soft and and I didn't know what to do because this is somebody I trusted. In a lengthy Facebook post, Hunt put it all out there. The lewd conduct, inappropriate comments, even rape that she had seen, heard about, and experienced herself over 10 years at the shipyard. A post that got the commander's attention. In a letter to employees sent to Q13, Captain Diana Wolfson said, bad behavior will not be tolerated. To me, it's as simple as that, urging employees to speak up. When Hunt reported her attacks, it didn't help. They were like, man, that's just terrible. <laughs> Gosh, that shouldn't have happened. And then that was it. An alleged perpetrator got promoted. It made it really easy to feel like there was no point in saying anything. But while on leave from work, healing from surgery, Hunt knew she had to say something because as she said, she's not alone. I've actually had to file three um, separate EEO complaints. We agreed to shield this employee's identity, afraid that speaking out could jeopardize a promotion. But there has to be some level of public accountability for the rest of the culture to see that this is actually not tolerated, that this actually is punishable and is punished. A message Hunt stands behind. I believe that there are more good people than there are predatory people, and I believe that we can do something to make that better. The shipyard said no one's available to go on camera today, but they did tell us they're taking these allegations very seriously. They plan to conduct an investigation, but have not started it. As of today, Brandon tells me that she hasn't heard from anybody here at the shipyard. In Bremerton, I'm Simone Del Rosario, Q13 News. Tonight, 13 Marines.